Today is the new day. It's really going to happen today. Oh. <laughs> we got a wild doggy on the loose. Uh-oh, danger zone. Danger zone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I'm talking to the vlog. Jelly? Some chili. I need a big pot of chili, please. I was just telling Grant that I needed the jelly. He goes, chili? <laughs> Thank you very much jelly i'm almost all ready right now i just need to do my hair and change i'm gonna take a 20 week picture it's a big moment i am i'm almost in disbelief that i'm here you know it's just <laughs> it gets more and more real every step you take you know i can see my bump growing i can feel the baby every day all the time grant can feel the baby it is just the most magical wonderful thing i couldn't imagine what it was going to be like and it's it's just incredible. I love it so much. My hair is so cool right now. But you know, going to my doctor's appointments and getting to see the baby on ultrasound and also doing the Doppler at home, hearing the heartbeat, it just gets more and more real all the time. And being at the halfway mark or maybe even a little past the halfway mark, depending on how things all work out in the end, it's just wild. And yesterday we had brunch with another couple and they are having a baby also she is right within a few weeks of me and it's so cool to get to talk to her about it so cool to get to talk to my sister about everything because she's definitely a lot ahead of me i'm so happy she's going first <laughs> i don't know it's just it's just the coolest thing and it's wild to me i was talking my sister and i were talking about this a while back it's just wild that this is just a normal thing this is just what we do and obviously since we've never been through it before it's just crazy and everything is new and I don't know <laughs> I'm clearly just my mind is blown by the whole experience on a daily basis and I love it I'm thankful for it and yes things have been bumpy in the past week and things were definitely very bumpy through the IVF and fertility process um, but it's just the magic is not lost on me even for a second. I'm just in awe of the whole situation and so is Luna. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to pause getting ready for a second and do my Doppler. I wanted to show you how it works. I've shown it on Instagram once. I got a lot of feedback about it, good and bad. I know everyone's got opinions about it. Luna is shaking the camera. <laughs> Lots of opinions about it. I understand, but I'll restate again. It's been completely cleared by my doctor. It's okay for me to be doing this. And I also want to say I would never use the Doppler instead of seeking actual medical attention. You know, I am not hesitant to go to the doctor, call the doctor, all of that stuff. Like, I'm not trying to like DIY my doctor experience here at all. I know that this is just something to be done at home and if there's a red flag there's a red flag but it should be dealt with by a doctor you know that's another thing that they are they worry about is giving you like a false sense of security um when maybe something is happening so i just want to like clear everything because i know i'm probably gonna get a lot of comments about it and i do have two here like i said and we haven't really used this one that much but i can already tell you we like this one a whole lot better the sound is a whole lot better and it just it just seems to pick up the heartbeat so much better so i will link both of them down below if you want to check them out for yourself there really seem to be not a lot of reviews on any of these on amazon i don't know why that is i feel like it's a very common thing a lot of moms buy these um but for whatever reason not a lot of reviews and i will also say i think there's only like one review for this one and it's negative she's like i never could find the heartbeat i found the heartbeat within 
less than a minute the first time I used it, you know, after just like skimming through the instructions. There's also YouTube videos that you can look up so you can figure it out. Um, and you could also bring it to your doctor. That's uh, what my sister's doctor told her. You could bring this to your doctor and ask them to show you how to use it the best you can. She didn't end up getting one. I don't know if she will from here on. She's, she's close. I'm so excited for her. She's close. Anyway, I'm gonna get to it. This is the one I like. I'll make a note of that in the description. And I also have jelly. You can also use aloe vera if you run out of jelly. I learned that through the Instagram comments. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Okay, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> is this weird? Feels weird to me. There we go. That's baby. This baby is on the move. You'll have to see it. All done. And I forgot to get a paper towel, of course. <laughs> this is a whole new view of the bump that you haven't gotten before. In the morning, if I lay on my back, and I know you're not supposed to lay on your back for a long time or anything. Oh my goodness. It's very uneven right now. <gasps> Feel right here. Oh yeah. That baby right there. Yeah. Wow, that's so crazy. It's kind of uneven right there. It's kind of pops up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to push too hard. No, <laughs> don't push too hard. <laughs> All right, so it really just takes less than a minute. You can see the heart rate. I do also want to say if your doctor tells you not to get one, if it's not a good idea for you, go with what they say. Don't go with what I say. I'm going off of what my doctor told me and I just wanted to make you guys aware of that for anyone that's been told they shouldn't get one for whatever reason. I'm just not trying to be a bad influence here. <laughs> I want you to do what's right for you. All right, I just put on this new dress and it is so cute and the bump is popping today. Let me show you. It's so cute. I love the colors. It's all lavender and orange and green and white stripes and obviously it is super fitted and really, really accentuates the bump. This is me at 20 weeks. I'm loving it. I feel like this dress is so cute. This is the kind of thing I've been waiting to wear. I was really annoyed with how chilly it was yesterday. We're doing that all again, but I could not resist. I was just too excited to wear this dress. It would be cute on anybody. Bump, no bump. It's from the regular section. It's not a maternity dress. And then the shoes are from Target. They're kind of crazy. I like them though. We're looking for a place to take my 20 week picture and I don't think this is it, but these are really pretty flowers. What about over here? Check out how focused Grant is on this big potato. <laughs> Your work paid off, Grant. Go for that squirrel. Oh no, it's just chocolate. Oh, this is what the baby really wanted. <laughs> so this is obviously why we ate at Jason's Deli. <laughs> I've been wanting true soft serve for so long. All right, we're back at West Elm. Okay, I know I said yesterday was the day. It was our goal to get the sofa sorted out. Obviously that did not happen. Today is the new day. It's really gonna happen today. We're pretty much completely decided. And we're gonna get a new couch. It's so exciting. Oh, and we didn't show the trees. No, we'll still be there when we get home. Maybe. All right. One final look here. Can you imagine? All right, back home. It's been a little while. The sun is going down. <laughs> look at our newest yard improvement that just happened today. <laughs> Grant came out here and put like a hundred thousand tiny little flags down. Oh, also, I am so amazed by these gorgeous blooms. 
these have just absolutely exploded in the past few weeks i so wish that these were in front of our house instead of in our backyard around the corner where you really have to like make an effort to see them because they're so 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 beautiful i just cannot get over them and it like rained pretty hard so we have a few down on the ground but <laughs> plenty still attached okay and i know the sun is going down a little bit it's probably not the best time to show you the new trees but they are here they just got planted in the last week we have some little gym magnolias here we have another tree back there i can't remember the name of that one we got another crepe myrtle and then a red bud here Trying to get her going. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> I wish I could get her to run between the flags. <laughs> Come on, Looney Beans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is all this? Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's the end of the night. I'm ready to go to bed. Actually, I'm kind of not, because we restarted watching Barry. We watched it in real time while it was on. I think there's like three seasons, two seasons. I can't even remember. And the other day I was just thinking, I want to rewatch Barry. And it has been great, because it's, it's funny. <laughs> well, it's funny, but it's very, very, very dark if you haven't seen it. But I don't know what it is lately, we start shows and either I instantly fall asleep every time we start watching them or I just can't get into it. I don't know what it is. I guess, I don't know. We just had to go back to something that we knew that we both really, really like and Barry is definitely it. I'm really hoping at some point this week our AC gets fixed before our luck runs out and it starts to get warm because I like, I almost can't believe that we've been without AC for this long and it's just been completely fine. So strangely, this has been the best time for the AC to go out, if there ever was one. Anyway, oh, I totally didn't give you an update. We bought the couch, we bought the crib, we bought the converter set, like the little toddler conversion set for the crib also. So lots of moves are being made. I think the crib might come next weekend. Feels like a very big moment. Feels like something that definitely needed to happen at 20 weeks. <sighs> I was feeling the baby move a lot tonight. Uh-oh. Is that the call? <laughs> That's the call. We were waiting on a call. We were working on some stuff this evening earlier and waiting for a call back. It's like 11, 11.30 right now. They're finally calling back. Anyway, before I go, I just wanna say again, Thank you so much. I feel like I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your encouraging words, all of your support, all of the cookie eating promises, and for all of the people that have told me their stories. It's just so encouraging, like more encouraging than you can know, and I just I just never feel like I can say thank you enough. I felt the same way when I was going through IVF and going through IUIs, and so many of you guys were so kind and supportive and generous with telling me your stories and sorry if I'm repeating myself. I just I just wanna say thank you again because it means so much to me to learn stuff from you guys and also just feel like we can do this, you know? I was very determined starting last Sunday that it would be positive going forward and I would not be living in fear and just scared every day that something's gonna go wrong, the baby's gonna have a heart block, the baby's gonna need a pacemaker, all of that. Like, I just couldn't live like that, you know? And just reading your messages and comments on the last vlog, especially, were just, I don't know it's just so 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 encouraging and like grant was reading them with me and i know my mom reads the comments sometimes i mean back when i first started youtube i was like mom do not read the comments <laughs> like just don't because i don't know it's a different thing i think like if you're a mom reading comments that are directed towards your child i'm not a child but you know just like out of protection just like don't 
read them just in case there was something negative. I used to say that to her, but I know that does nothing. She's still gonna look at them sometimes and she's gotten encouragement from it because this has been a huge like learning moment for everyone. Like we didn't know anything about this and my mom deals with autoimmune stuff. Like it runs in my family. Like it's just a lot and hearing from you guys and hearing from so many people that have gone through it and have seen the other side and have had positive outcomes, it's just, it's just the best possible thing, you know? Because in my personal life, I don't know anybody that has gone through it. And looking stuff up online can be really scary. And I mean, I'm all about research and stuff like that, but that's not like a personal story, you know? It's just, it's just totally different, you know? And I know that you guys care. I just wanted to say thank you again. And I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, all that, like I never say this stuff, but if you feel like doing it, you can totally do it. I feel like I'm probably missing something right now. I've been so tired all day. <laughs> anyway, thanks, I love you, bye.